Before we get started this episode, there's actually something I want to show off real quick. Because, uh... Hey! You guys remember... Oh. Okay, I already did that. Alright. Right. That was more specific for the, uh... DS. Anyway! I did change my Wi-Fi so I could get Mystery Gift. So, yeah. There are videos for how to get Mystery Gift for all this, so... Using my Nintendo DSi, I should be able to connect to this. Funny thing! I actually had it set so... If you connect your, um... Three... If you connect your 3DS to a specific, um... If you have an Android phone and set it to a hotspot, set it as a hotspot, and use that, you can basically connect to the internet with certain DNS settings put in to basically use it to actually... Yeah, connect to networks for these games. So yeah, apparently there's still old DNS numbers that work for actually accessing these old DS games. Such as a Shelmet? I don't want that. Get that shit out of here. But yeah. Basically, if you can connect it using the... Okay. It takes a lot of explaining. Basically, in your old school Nintendo Wi-Fi settings, or if you have a 3DS with Gen 5, Using the system settings, you change the DNS to this right here, your primary DNS. You can basically access the servers, such as a special Zora Arc. Oh, okay. Well, you can receive mystery gifts from the internet. Basically things they gave you from, um... Yeah. Oh yeah, I got a Zora Arc, just like N had. Yay! This isn't what I wanted, but you know what? This works. Unfortunately, it's kind of random the way this works. So, uh... Yeah. The unfortunate thing with this is that you have to actually go out of your way to keep doing Mystery Gift over and over again to get the Pokemon you want from this. Oh, since I'm still doing this. Well, welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Pokemon White version. And before we're playing anything, well, this is your host, the MJ406. Again, the primary DNS, once you set your internet settings, connect, have the primary DNS set to this number. At least if you're using a DSi 3DS for Gen 5. It's a little different for Gen 4. You can also choose to use a um, hotspot, using your Android phone as a hotspot to avoid security so you can actually do it for Gen 4. Gen 5, because you can actually do that on the way to victory. Start training for the World Championships today. This special better grows will put your rivals in the dark. Oh God! I mean, I'll take it. But yeah, basically, you get a bunch of the event Pokemon for your games. Shiny Metagross. Oh. You know, this isn't what I wanted to show off. It was nice to get these, so, um... Yep, you can get a lot of the event Pokemon using this method. All legitimate and free, which is kind of nice. All right, well, let me time warp to getting another one and get what I want to do. All right, fine, I'm done. And now we have a flying Pikachu, apparently. Well, that's fucking cool. I forgot they had a thing for Pikachu learning fly. Where's the surf one? All right, this Pokemon Stadium. God damn it. Oh, hey, look. One of the event Pokemon. Remember what I told you about the pre-order bonus for one of the Pokemon? Check it out. They had an event one. Virtuoso Victini with its move Recreate. So there you go. There's really event to you have to get for the pre-order to be able to get this, but apparently it gives a mystery gift as well. Good! That saves you the trouble. Now I don't need, don't need to worry about having to access that stupid ship to get to an island of battle and catch this thing. I forgot! Apparently this is the item you're supposed to get as a pre-order bonus! I didn't realize they had it as a download event as well. Well, there we go! I can show off getting Victini again anyway, the proper way through the pre-order bonus. Well, thank you, Mystery Gift! Well, here's one of the Gen 5 mythical Pokémon to get. There's three of them to get in this game. This is one of them, Meloetta! The mythical Pokemon Meloetta is a gift to you. Meloetta's song and dance will make your battle spectacular. So yeah, we have a singing Pokemon of some kind. This is one of the three mythical Pokemon you can get through the wonders of the goddamn mystery gift. Thank you for making this accessible to me. Well, I guess this is a good time to go over all the freaking mythical Pokemon of this game, all three of them that you have to get this way. Here's one thing I love, it will be a great addition to your party for your adventure in Pokemon Black version 2 or White version 2. This is the first version! <laughs> It's nice to know that apparently it works for both Black and White 1, as long as Black 2 and White 2. So, yep, prequel or sequel, this works out of the way. But here's Keldeo, the second of the mythical Pokémon. 
See how many times it'll take for me to get to the last one. A secret egg. Well, cool. Thanks for that. All right, cool. Got a freaking Scrafty for a battle in San Diego for the 2011 Pokemon World Championships. Well, thanks. At least I don't have to evolve my freaking Scraggy now. Oh god, a shiny Dialga! Oh my god! Now the power of the Cinnamon Region's legendary Dragon type Pokemon is yours. Go to adventure with this rare shiny Pokemon, and your bond will grow stronger. I mean, thanks. I have Pearl, so I guess this is useful for me. Thanks again. Okay, we can be sitting here all day looking at this. But I'll just remind you. Once you get all those, be sure to check your cards. That way you can see all the downloads you have ready for here. I got my Zoroark, Metagross, my Pikachu with Fly, a Victini, all the Liberty Pass to get Victini legit way, Meloetta, and Caldeo, mythical Pokemon, and a secret egg of some kind, along with this Scrafty and my shiny Dialga. So yep, you'll basically have to claim them from a delivery guy who happens to show up at the Pokemon Center, which I will show later. But... In the meantime, before we get to that, you'll have to get rid of the cards afterwards. That's the other thing I was going to say. Once you pick up your deliveries from that guy in the Pokemon Center, get rid of those cards so you can make room for more. One last thing before we get back to the actual playthrough. Remember the relocator I got quite a long time ago? Well, funny thing. I actually happen to have a copy of Pokemon Soul Silver that has some event Pokemon I want to take. Which reminds me, yes, please insert a Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, or Soul Silver version game card in the other DS system and turn it on. Then select this real locator ID, which, using the other 3DS I happen to have here, if I go to DS Download Play, which is the way to do multiplayer for those that don't remember, because you probably don't have a DS or 3DS anymore or don't do frequent multiplayer of these things anymore, this is how you had to basically go into a game that you didn't have downloaded on one 3DS to go join it on another. Unfortunately, the process is a bit of a pain in the ass. So, yeah. You gotta activate the relocator. And since the Pokemon game I have is in there, hopefully I'll be able to communicate. Or not. Save data cannot be accessed. Please turn the power off and reinsert the game card. Well, fuck. <laughs> I can try it one more time. Okay, I guess this isn't gonna work. God damn it! That's what I get for getting my hopes up. Son of a bitch. Thanks for nothing. Alright, well, I at least tried. However, there is another thing I could do with that as well. But we'll worry about that later. Alright, so there you go. You can use the relocator, if you have the right copy of a proper DS, I guess, in order to be able to, uh, send event Pokemon. That's the thing with how it works. It only works with event Pokemon, that relocator. It would work with, um, five particular Pokemon, all from the Gen 2 remake. Which would be the shiny versions of all the three dogs, depending on which one you got. Celebi, as well as an item referred to as a locked capsule, which I think if I transfer it over here, I could turn it into TM95, Snarl. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Oh, right, we're gonna go to the other, uh... Go to the other uh, sports stadium. Right. Let me do that now. Because I'm here. I may as well get that football game going. So, time for football! You know, it's American football, because other football, the real football is the one that's here. Well, either way, now we got all that crap out of the way, we can finally get to the real meat of all this. You want to know how the VIP seats are? I will tell you, you win against me. God damn it. Why do you make, have to hide information from me like this? You're a dick. So, here we go again, with all this crap. Oh god, of course, I have you out against the bug type. Why wouldn't I? I always seem to do the worst possible thing with you. I'm so sorry. Well, how about fuck you then? Should have had Dodo come out. But you know what? I want to protect Flick. And this is always the most surefire way. But yep. In case you didn't realize that, yes, apparently you can manipulate your freaking Wi-Fi settings your DS in order to be able to actually down- Oh god, Zen Headplot, OW! You manipulate the DNS settings on your, uh, 3DS in order to be able to actually download these in the current day, so... Yay! It takes a little bit of random chance, a bit of luck, and you can't re-download really mystery gifts you've done before. The NPCs are very far away from the athletes. But hey, if you really care about them, you have them as an option. 
You can see the game flying, but the athletes look like grains of rice. And it works all well Gen 4, Gen 5 games, so it works out well enough. Hey, it's me, it's me. I'm the best pilot in Unifo. But Gen 5, you can use the 3DS settings like normal because they kind of treat it for these games like a DSi because that's how the Gen 5 Pokemon games were. They were able to go through more enhanced security through the DSi method, so that could work. Well, the Gen 4 games, you need to do the actual DS with a different DNS setting. God damn it, why do I keep getting these shitty encounters? Ugh, nothing but a fucking Pokemon that Flick is weak to. I get so unlucky until the critical hit walks in and ruins your whole goddamn plan. Alright, time to swap you out. Well, that was fun while it lasted, at least. But yep, now thanks to that, I can actually get a lot of the event Pokemon I want. Which I wish I realized that that was a thing when I was doing Gen 4 so I could try to get all the three Reggies so I could use them to fight with Regigigas, but eh. You win some, you lose some. But at the very least, God damn it! Look at all these birds! Can't leave, can't friggin' flick fight anything without being threatened by a giant bird! God damn you people! Oh yeah, I was also, I also said the, oh wait, you don't have a status reflection. That won't do that much then. Flail's the one that would've done more damage. But yeah, I also said I was gonna over poke the uh, white forest in Black City of Pokemon um, white and black, respectively, I think. Yes. We're basically using Etrolink to communicate with another version to go to their version of Black City slash White Forest. You, you're Derek, be my apprentice. You basically talk to traders on the opposite ends. So for my, my version, when I went to Black City through somebody's Etrolink, I can basically convince traders to come over there to repopulate White Forest, make it grow so you can get more wild Pokemon. What's the left that point? Fly, fly, fly away! For those that want a less bustling lifestyle, you know. POWER! I'm aware my superior power can blaze any trail! Oh my god! At least I see some of the football players having fun, but god damn, dude! Are you right in the head? I don't know if you are, honestly. Oh, look at Tong! You also have an evolution from Generation 4 if you get rollout. You evolve into Licky Licky. Oh dear. That name just sounds wrong, and the Pokemon itself just looks wrong. Ah, no! Not Ring Out again! Why does that hurt so bad? What does that move do? Ugh, I need to figure out the specifics of that one. You tried Power Whip on a bug and grass type. Bro, get the fuck out of here! What are you doing? Don't take that kind of insult, bro! You tried to Power Whip your fucking bug and grass type with a lick of tongue. Oh god, I got whipped with a tongue. That just sounds wrong. That just seems so wrong. Alright, Slippy, your turn. Have fun. But yeah, basically, community between the versions, you got a lot more things. If you get more people from Black City into White Forest, you can basically make it so you can encounter a lot more Pokemon from previous generations in the wild areas. Wild grass will show up, a pool of water will show up, more of the houses will be built, you can talk to more trainers, it's... Yeah, basically, once you once you populate the area, more things become available to you. It's pretty nice. And oh god, superpower! Well, you don't mind your defense being low. That is gonna hurt. Ow! Son of a bitch! But yeah, basically, for white, you basically have more trainers show up. You get more wild Pokemon. Black City, it's the opposite way. Well, it's different. You basically pull trainers from White Forest to Black City. And you'll have a lot more traders to battle. So you can battle a lot of fucking traders in Black City, but you can't encounter any wild Pokemon there. For White Forest, you can fight them over. Unfortunately, either you do. Yeah, you go in there. You won't be able to battle a lot of those traders in White Forest. For Black City, basically a lot of trader battles and just can't get wild encounters. That's basically all that is. But yeah. It's basically a great area if you have a lot of inter connection with somebody else who also has the opposing version of this game. So, you know, it's a good reason to do it if you have that connectivity. Otherwise, it's kind of a waste of time area. But yeah, you also get an initial amount of citizens in each town depending on how long it takes you from when you started the game to actually get to the town. Is it possible that just not, not having powers is not enough? Yeah, you need more power, dude. You need more power. 
Full games, four battles, will require power technique. Yeah, they do. Kids, please go away the special train for my Pokemon. Yay! Wait, I'm only one kid. Oh, sorry, I saw I saw three of you. I'm, I'm a little hurt. Oh, God, dude, you need to recover a little bit. But, yep, that's basically the gist of it. They make those areas, they do bring the areas back in the sequel, but they handle it better. They basically make it so you don't need to have, like, strong internet connectivity with the intro lake thing in order to, oh, God, close combat! You don't need to have strong, ow, interconnectivity with each version in order to get some of the stuff exclusive to each version's area. And it, um, it works well enough. Then again, the way they kind of have the interconnectivity work between versions for the sequel games is different. Which is something I guess I could save when we eventually get to Black 2 and White 2, which I guess I'll spoil this now. Yes, the next Pokemon game I'll eventually be doing on my channel a year plus down the line will be White 2, which is only fitting seeing as well. You know, there's enough differences with it to make it worthwhile to do. Where I didn't do third versions for Gents 3, I did do the third versions for 1 through 4, which are... Oh, God, I missed. That's gonna hurt. Ow! You might die from that. Yeah. Well, you may as well be dead. Because your fucking attack and speed are cut in half now. So, let's see the trouble to get Condom out here again. God damn it. But yeah. The sequel game will be the next one I do, where I did do Yellow for Gen 1. Crystal for Gen 2, Emerald for Gen 3, or Platinum for Gen 4, or any of the remakes. I'm willing to do a sequel game, because there's enough different about it that, you know, leaves enough an impact. It actually is a sequel story. It's not like Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon from Gen 7, where it's basically an alternate telling of the story of Gen 7, and done in such a way it kind of ruins what the initial game was. Actually, no. If anything, it makes initial Sun and Moon better. Oh, right, you have Endure. That makes it so I can't kill you. You're a dick. I was just realizing it crunched on a fighting type. Not that it matters, because you're dead anyway. Good luck activating it twice in a row. Like, protect the detect is hard to do twice in a row. They make it a much harder chance. Ooh, Hariyama! Okay, that's different. Ah, oh, I can't use you now. Nobody else has a flying move or something good against fighting type, do they? No, only you. Well, get to it. Please survive. Yeah, he's heavy as fuck. But yeah, that's the general gist of the white forest and black sea. You get more out of it, you have interconnectivity in the opposite version. You get more wild Pokemon encounters in white forest, you get more trainer battles in black city. And you know, keeping certain trainers there is like a weird like point system in there. As days pass, you lose points on certain, um, NPCs living in each respective area. Interacting with them will allow you to keep them there longer. As interacting with them will increase their amount of points. Once they hit the zero points, they'll basically leave your city or forest, whatever, and go... Well, they just won't be there anymore. So you gotta keep interacting with them frequently every day. But we're always supposed to guard against even Steel-type Pokemon! You basically have to keep interacting with them to keep them there, like, every day. Let's go there, everybody's over, so we're doing some special training. Well, good for you, but, bro. I'm glad your special training will work out. Honestly, I thought there was more to it, but that is basically it. If you want to keep them there, you got to basically keep interacting with them. If you don't have anybody to interact with for your opposing version, you're not going to get much out of it. It's a nice area to see, but that's about it. It's... Yeah, it's there. I appreciate it. And I think me and my oldest brother, when we were playing this game, I think we did interact with that a little bit. He kind of got out of Pokemon with Gen 5, so he never got Black 2 or White 2, which really upset me because, well... You do get a good bit out of interactivity between the versions for that, too. Including a hard mode! Ooh! And an easy mode, which is kind of... Eh... It's nice that it's there, but you have to give it to somebody who hasn't played the game yet, which is the weirder thing of how that works. I, I, I'm not sad, am I? Hey, dude, linebackers need to be thick, dude. It's a good way to hold back the other opposing offense or defense from being able to break through. So that... 
Oh boy! I was not ready for this. Hey, Bacon! You mind cooking this thing up? I believe it has sturdy now, its ability, so that's gonna be fucking fun. Nice reminder that freaking Ah, Fortress! The evolution of Pineco is the freaking dickhead. Aha! Now if you do have sturdy, it won't work. Because you decide to use double edge like a dumbass. This is exactly why I don't like recoil moves, especially if you use sturdy. Because, well, it ruins the whole purpose of sturdy. Ripped! But I guess you can use Focus Sash to counter it away. But even still, all the ability gets rid of recoil. I'm ripped! I'm not fat. Yeah, you tell yourself that. I usually act like an ace player, but I want to be an ordinary girl, at least when I'm here. I mean, are ace trainers. You just. Can, can you just admit that ace trainers are not ordinary? Hey, shut up! I like the way I am! I mean, fair enough. Well, the ice type's a problem, but the, but the psychic type is not. As long as you do X scissor first, you should be dead, so I imagine you're more special based. <laughs> I did not realize how fast you were. Well, nice knowing you. Fuck you. God damn it. All right. So how to counter this thing? I need rock move or something. I need a rock or a flame type move. You have rock slide. It'll do. I have nothing that's fully immune to it except for a freaking bacon. But bacon can get hurt by psychic, so I don't want to do that either. Oh, man. Nice and psychic. An ice and psychic type is definitely one of the weaknesses of my team. God damn it. Good choice, and I'm very pissed that you picked it. So much for the lucky egg, again. Good revive flick, I don't know if it's worth it. Oh, now you have a water type! Fuck you! Oh, that just fucking figures. Alright, fine. Get back out there. Oh, well, yeah. It is nice that this game decided to have a lot more things involved with, like, playing between the other versions. While some people may think it feels necessary to need that to do everything, at the same time, it's more like a flavor enhancer. It's nice to have, and it can help build the game to make it more than what it could be, just base version on its own. The fact it has the interconnectivity with another opposing version or somebody else is kind of annoying, but you know, it enhances the replay value, especially you know people that play the game as well. It is nice to have. So, yeah, unfortunately... Oh, fuck! Well, this is the evolution. I think I told you about this already, but... Well, my best choice for this would be Slippy, I think, because it's water and fly... Ground and flying. Not water, idiot. Ground and flying! Quad weak to frickin'... Well... Yeah, ice. Unfortunately, the only thing I really have for it is water, so... Go surf. Ow! x Scissor, you're a dick. Oh, great. I'll die if I don't manage to kill you. Damn. Only Vaporeon was frickin' weak to frickin' flick. That just figures. Okay, you're dead. Yeah, it was a nice try anyway. God damn. See, these trainers really go all out in this part of the game. Like, Jesus. They never are a lot harder to fight. And again, that's up to the replay value. Actually, ow! Make the fights worthwhile. I forgot why score is fast! I should have known better! But you know what? It's fine. You're dead anyway. Damn, Exos was a big weakness for a lot of my team. Fuck. I'm not realizing how weak my team can really be. I don't want to think about Bowman very much right now. Ever I lost, you're a meanie! Good. If I give you this, will you leave me alone? Another PB up. Well, thank you, I guess. I'll take it. As an East Trainer, sometimes I just want to be an ordinary girl. I want to scream for the cool athletes to enjoy my time. I bet you do. Good for you. Cheer on the stronger ones. But you know, I mean, it's crazy to think that the only thing we had with the version differences back in the day were just freaking, um, just different Pokemon you get encountered. That was it. My beautiful machine, Pinchino, in Middle Route 5, pretty sure it will make me popular in musicals. I bet it will. Oh, right! I have to pick up the fucking Pokemon I just got from the mystery gift! <laughs> I forgot to do that! Let me do that now since it's on my mind. I came back here anyway, so I may as well do it. All right, well, before we get back on that topic... So! This Delirium will show up when you do mystery gift stuff. Good evening. You must be proud. I see a mystery gift for you. Here you go. Your party's full. Please make room to receive the gift. God damn it! 
Yeah, the unfortunate thing is, like every other game, you gotta make room so you can put these Pokemon in. So, get in the box, all of you. Get in the box. Get in the box. Get in the box. <laughs> get in the box! Oh, get in the fucking box. So yeah, receive Pokemon, you basically gotta make room in your party so you can actually carry them with you. Anyway, as long as, you're one, as long as your Wonder Cards are there, you'll still be able to receive these gifts. And I'll mark it once you got them. Well, since I can't do the relocator thing to get the, uh, shiny, um, Suicune I have to do an event Lost Lord Forest to catch a Zoroark, Arc, I'll do this instead. I'll take it for what it is. So, yep, yeah, there we go. We now officially have Zoroark. Arc. He likes to thrash about. Oh, look, he's got Snarl as well. Why well, isn't that nice? Embargo, that's always nice. But Snarl, Snarl, the user yells as if it's raining about something, making the target special attack decrease. And punishment! The more your, the target is powered up, the more punishment does, which is kind of cool. But yep, Illusion comes out disguised as Pokemon in the back. So if I had him in my party, in the front, whoever's in the very back would be the one he looks like. He would show us that first to throw him off. No, I officially have a Metagross, and I never had one of these LPs yet. So thank you for that. Keep giving the others, too. Oh, Pikachu! Now I don't have to worry about freaking catching this fucking thing somewhere. Keep giving me more. The Victini! Oh, yeah, I have the Liberty Pass I have to get, too. I can show that event off as well. I can do that whenever I want. But, there we go! Liberty Pass! So now I can go over there. Now, give me the last one I receive right now. Meloetta! I'll go over these in the Pokedex later. But yep, this is the fun of getting a lot of these event Pokemon. It's also nice that they had a lot of event Pokemon for you, but... Well... It was kind of irritating to get some of them. Your Metagross, Earthquake, Zen Headbutt, Protect, and Meteor Mash. Oh my god! God, it reminds me of Steve. Yeah, Pikachu will fly! Also with Protect, fuck you by the way, with Grass Knot as well. Yup! You have fucking Fusion Flare and Fusion Bolt? What the fuck? Well, his Wi-Fi gift, there we go. Victory Scar, boosts the, boosts the accuracy of its allies and itself. Right, that's its ability, it's pretty fucked up. Here's its signature move, by the way, V-Create. With a hot flame on its forehead, the user hurls itself at its target. It lowers the user's defense, special defense, and speed stats. But it fucks them up! Fusion Flare, basically right from its move. And Fusion Bolt! The attack does greater damage and influence by an enormous flame. Basically, when you have freaking Reshiram and Sekrom together, that boost move gets stronger. It's Searing Shot! The Inferno Scarlet Flames torches everything around the user. It may leave targets of the burn. I'm trying to remember what Pokemon that's from. But here's Victini. You also see the Pokemon have an event ball that they're caught in when you get it from a Wi Fi event. Now, what up with Brown, Teeter Dance, Psychic, like Close Combat? Yeah, Brown, I think, might be. I want to say it's a signature move, but I think it's a move. That... Oh no, I had a Pokemon that had Brown earlier with my fucking Slippy. Right, how can I forget? I got my. Caldeo's the other one. The other one of the mythical Pokemon. Anything else for me? Alright, the Pokemon egg. I'll have to hatch eggs at some time, too. I'll do that after I end the session I'm going through right now. Give you a special scrap, yeah, I guess, just so I can have it, sure. And yeah, that's my Pokedex is great. And the shiny Dialga. Jesus Christ, the shiny Dialga. Yeah, I'm not gonna show off the Mr. Gift stuff anymore like that. I'll get that on my own time, eventually. And I'll show it off later. Gano! Got Aqua Jet, Leer, Double Kick, and Bubble Bee. Level 15! Oh, now I can see why I wanted from black to a white to. We'll take out the eggs and hatch them later. You got Fire Punch, Payback, Brain Punch, and Substitute. Ooh, damn. Meanwhile, you have Dragon Pulse, Draco Meteor, Aura Sphere, and War of Time. You also have our level 100. Well, keep it doing my part. No. Not keeping that in my part. I am not going to take that in my party. That would be a little much. <laughs> That'd be so unfair! Besides, I gotta stick with my team. I'm not gonna ban my team just to easily walk through everybody. That's not the way I roll. I like to have my main team be the stars of the show. Unless I need for HMs, such as my Lotic, my Water HM Slave. But we'll get to the Water HM stuff later. Which did remind me something. That, um... Yeah! I figured out something! And apparently you don't need HMs to get to the through the main game at all. You only need the HMs to get to extra areas, and, well, yeah, that's about it. 
You need any gems to get to extra areas. The only one you need is cut to get through one tree early on in the game. That's the only thing you need an HM4 for the main game. I mean, play on offense, my friend is mainly defense. Most of the team are football fans. Oh, wow. Really are going to be coordinated? This would be impressive to see if you actually do such a thing. But yeah, basically. Oh. Uh, this is not going to end well. Not at all. All right, well, I'll be different about this. You switch out and help. You just try and fight for your life if you're able. Good luck. There, now he's looking for his experience while not being part of the party. I need to use Pokemon to actually deal this shit. I'm not gonna kill you one hit, bro. Ow! Close combat! Fucking suck! Oh, that hurt. At least it'll be easier to kill now. Oh, uh, you're faster than anything else I have. Throw is slow as fuck, but Sock is actually quick. Alright then, let's see if this works out. Try wide guard. Ow! Leave condom alone! What did he ever do to you? Jesus Christ! I hate you! But yeah, it's crazy to think we only have, like, different, like, you know, Pokemon to encounter throughout the opposite, you know, versions. This generation really did the most with, like, having opposite version actually, like, giving you a lot to do if you interact with another version. The team of your is outstanding. I'm super impressed. Making the actual interconnectivity between multiple players and multiple versions worthwhile instead of just complete a Pokedex. What do you want? If you, what you want to do is stay report your partner what's new. It's hard to win a double battle. Damn right. Right blank and turn to turn the game around. All my battles are the same too. Did I battle everybody yet? What's the time flight? Why, 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 why? I think I battled everybody. Oh god! I do go over the goal line with your million miles! I forgot the other double battle. Well, sorry, Bacon, you're about to get fucked up bad. Alright. Let's end this episode after this battle. Two Darmanitan, huh? Can you really just pluralize this Darmanitan? Wow. Wow. That's stupid even by your standards. Impressively stupid. Well, let's see if Rock Slide will work out. I have a plan. And I hope the plan will work. I don't know if it will, but I hope it will. Overheat? Oh, God! Oh. You can only hit one Pokemon with that. Well, I am fucking glad I decided to swap out, because my fucking flick would have been dead real quick. Well, good. Did do a lot of damage, and you're both fucked. Oh, this is beautiful. Double rock slide, let's go! Oh god, now you're going for super power, okay. Now you're going physical attack! Well, this is probably gonna kill. Yep. Dead. I was hoping that wasn't the case, but I was proven wrong. God damn, I keep forgetting those surprises are quick. And again, I have my slowest Pokemon out here trying to fight. I doubt you'll be able to kill it, but good luck anyway. Oh wait, they lower the defenses. Ha ha! Eat shit! There we go! That worked out its own stupid way! And Flick finally leveled up. Good. I was waiting for that. The bond between you and your Pokemon is strong too. This feeling will go well past the goal line. I bet it will. Thank you. My team for my team until I get thirsty. Fresh water tastes even better. Yup. The goal is knocked out. Amazing! Because you can feel the excitement. The bond between players and the crowd. Yup. But there we go, it's finally the end of all the sports stuff. No more of that. You might be able to get other items, you keep rebattling them every day, but I wouldn't worry about it. I'm not worried about it, I'm done. Oh god, the pain, the pain. Let me end this episode here, I'll go heal once we start up the next episode. But yep, there you go, got to show off how Mystery Gift works. I wanted to show off a relocator, but it looks like my copy of Soul Silver is not going to allow me to do that. Because that's how I would activate getting a Zoru and Zoroark in this game, but I got a bit Zoroark, so it doesn't fucking matter. But yeah, basically those things that you saw that don't talk much, once, uh, I think one, the one of the Lost Lord Forest becomes one of the different dogs from Johto when you bring the shiny dog with you. 
And that'll become the Zoroark you have to battle. I think it's level 25. And the other thing, if I managed to get Selby in, if I got to talk the one silent person in the, uh, that one building in, uh, Castilia City, basically that'll turn into Zerua. And the trader that had the Zerua would gift it to you. It's level 10. Say, so you get both if you have event, if you have the event legendaries from frickin', um, the Gen 2 remake. And just a note, you need the event ones in particular. You need the event ones because you cannot do it with just the freaking regular dogs. Apparently. And the relocator will only work the event legendaries. The other thing, the other Pokemon, is the Poke Transfer, which we showed off last time. I'll go in more depth with that as long as I actually do it, of course. I wonder if it's because I play that game on my 3DS of music now and try to put a different 3DS and now it's having a conflict of interest. That would suck. All right, either way, come back next time, and we will actually go exploring more. I got to go to White Forest, maybe I'll explore the route around there. Maybe I can try to show off Pokey Transfer. Otherwise, we'll just explore the land. Also, I gotta see if that thing with Bianca is something I can do now. But yeah, again, you can look up videos yourself about it, but yep, that whole DNS thing for, you know, basically having a server to be able to connect to where all the event Pokemon are, you can keep getting them. So even in modern day, you can still get that in the old school Pokemon games. As long as you have a DS or 3DS, of course. Or really know your way around an emulator.